The climate crisis dominates the headlines in the media today. We are constantly being fed the narrative that we are failing in the fight against climate change and that the UN's Sustainable Development Goals are unlikely to be achieved by 2030. We are Nick and Talia. And in collaboration with Startup Lounge Africa, we are embarking on a mission to tell the positive stories of sustainable innovation across the world by meeting some of the most innovative entrepreneurs in the sustainability space who are implementing solutions that their countries, regions and our planet require to thrive. And, most importantly, we want to show that if we get behind and scale up these innovations, we can, in fact, achieve the UN's SDGs. This is our sustainable world. We're filming a documentary on sustainable innovation. The next country on our journey is home to Africa's tallest mountain, has two capital cities, and has the largest concentration of animals per square mile. Have you guessed it yet? We're in Tanzania, and we're here to learn about how technology is transforming accessibility to STEM education across East Africa. There's much that answer they can simplify teaching. And how augmented reality could be the key to unlocking the potential of Africa's next generation. Education is a basic human right. And in order for us to solve some of our planet's biggest challenges, STEM topics such as biology, chemistry, and physics are needed more than ever. But unfortunately, in Africa and here in Tanzania, failure rates in these subjects are incredibly high. Education is a critical factor in helping a society to thrive. Access to skills such as reading and writing open up a world of economic opportunities. However, for those who are left behind, it can be very tough. 14% of the global population are illiterate, and in Africa, it is estimated that over one in three adults cannot read. In recent years, Tanzania has seen a positive increase in children and young adults with the ability to read and write, but this is just the start for this country's capabilities. STEM subjects are becoming increasingly important as we move into a technological and scientifically driven world. Therefore, students in countries like Tanzania need to learn more complex subjects to keep up with their peers across the world. In 2022, over 72 percent of students had a failure rate of D and F collectively, over 72 percent. In biology, over 62 percent had D and F. There is training in the uh, sciences in Tanzania from you know primary school all over, but there's a huge drop uh, from high school to college, and the transitioning from STEM in college to workforce. So most developed countries would get into 3.4% of the population in the STEM fields. In Tanzania, we're estimating 025 of the workforce by 2025 to be within the STEM fields. That alone was enough motivation to start Madarasa in the early days. Typically, lessons in Tanzania and across Africa are taught via chalkboard, which means that practicalities around science are not normally brought to life. And it's due to the fact that in Africa, over 70% of schools do not have laboratories or have unequal laboratories. So students have to cram rather than understand. Teachers have a hard time teaching STEM practically because there are no equipments or any, um, any, or any tools that can be used to facilitate these uh, teachings in class. However, in Tanzania, there are some ambitious organizations who are working hard to resolve that. We went to visit STEM Park, who make learning science, technology, engineering, and maths interactive in a number of different ways. That's how we want to create the momentum of uh, uplifting the kids from just being exposed to these normal hands on activities, get the curiosity in their mind, like, oh, you can do this because I know the science behind it. So how can STEM learning be made more accessible? Well, Smart Darasa might have the answer to this exam question. Smart Darasa is a company that wants to make STEM practicals easy and fun using digital devices, utilizing 2D, 3D and AR technology. And our mission is very simple, is to make STEM as practical as possible to provide maximum understanding to the students. If you learn something visual, especially a science subject, you will get to understand it better. And when you go to answer those questions, you get that visual picture in your mind when you're writing your answer. So that is the state in which I want to put to the students using Spadaras. Smart Darasa have created a virtual laboratory that enables students to visualize and interact with science experiments. 
It gives them the opportunity to see what happens in a real lab setting and experience the reactions of different experiments in real time. Research shows that uh, the brain of human, it can easily interpret information that come in the 3D aspect. So with that uh, research, which has been proven, even in our daily life, we see things in 3D. So augmented reality as a technology is one of the best tools that simulate that again. So it makes us even when we bring it into education. So instead of a student to frame, they can directly understand that concept because that's how human brain work. And that is what we take advantage of using augmented reality in Smart Darasa. I met Smart Darasa uh, maybe two years back and I was fascinated by how they're using technology to bring technology uh, into education in, in a very different way. And immediately I got a light bulb moment to they are going to cover the gap that we have in our science centers, right? So we are a lot more hands-on, touch that, heat, heat, etc., etc. Whilst filming with the Smart Darasa team in Dar es Salaam, we went to visit Dovia Secondary School to find out how Smart Darasa is helping to make STEM lessons fun, easy to understand, and memorable. Before uh, Smart Darasa, we can use the, this chalkboard, chalk and body only, or through textbooks. But the textbooks, they can show only picture. But the tools from the answer, they can see when the, there is a facilitating somebody is, is spoken. Most of the students like science subjects, but the problem is they don't have the label. Now, if you don't have the label, what next? Students, they are trying to escape because you don't have the label, no any other alternative. But through using Smart Dalasa, our kids are enjoying now. We have increased performance because if you are teaching, it means if there is needed demonstration, then when we click to Smart Darasa, the student they can see. So what you are doing, instead of talking too much, the Smart Darasa it is simplifying. It is clear that delivering education via technology is the future, and Smart Darasa have found a way to make STEM subjects accessible and affordable for Africa's next generation of scientists and engineers. I think Smart Darasa has done a brilliant job to cover the gap that we had as, as, as an organization when it comes to use of technology in education. So kind of making them get exposed to this kind of environment, this kind of, of uh, activities inspires them. Most of the students now, they like science subjects. And I hope through Smart Dallas, most of our students here in Dovia Secondary School, they are coming through science subjects. We want uh, our generation to be able to use the available, to, to be able to solve the challenges which are in our community using technology. So using Smadarasa is a thing that gives them knowledge on basically to understanding the basic things so that when they get out there, they can be able to solve the existing challenge. So that is the bigger vision that you want to put in our generation. The bigger vision is to be in 10 countries in, of Africa by 2029. So um, 2024 is going to be a, a turning point for the company. And we're really excited to see it manifest in real life.